Hi guys, it's another beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. Well, today's video, we're gonna make an update about our para kits. And a little later in this video, we will give you some tips on how to massively produce our para kits. I have some practical tips to reveal to you, and this is very effective. And we already have tried this one. I told you that ever since I was a kid, I had this plenty of para kits. And I will tell you how to multiply them so massively and so quickly. But before we're gonna do these things, allow me to just you know share something also about the prevention aspects that we employ in the farm. Well, as you know that these fowls, like the chickens, the birds, the ostriches, the geese, are very prone to contracting disease because of the viruses that are present in the farm. And that is why we have to make some preventions, we have to make some precautions in order for us to become successful in this farming. And one of the things that we did in order to prevent sickness from getting inside the body of our fowls is to give them supplements and to give them some vitamins. I am saying this because we are scheduled to inject Gino and Susie, our ostriches that are here in the farm. And I would like to make regular shots of these vitamins to their bodies so that they will not get sick, especially now that it's uh, rainy days. And you will witness this, guys, before we're gonna go to the lovebirds, we will catch Gino and Susie and we will inject them with vitamins, multivitamins, to make their bodies strong so that they will not become sick so you will witness that there's gonna be chasing over here because they are really able to run so fast and i just uh, prove it to myself that this kind of bird this ostriches can really run so fast i hope we can catch them and we will inject them with these vitamins okay Gino, come on, it's your time to get your vitamins. <laughs> you are so fast. You are so fast, Gino. <laughs> I would like to corner <laughs> very fast. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, come on, get, get him. Oh, okay, okay, that's it. Oh. Yes, and uh, we will inject some vitamin D and uh, multivitamins actually. So we will give 3 ml. Okay, that's it. Woo! <laughs> he was hurt actually.
okay. You can just imagine if this will grow big, how can we manage to catch them? These are really big birds. And I was told that this will weigh around 70 kilos. And if that time comes, I don't know if we can still manage. But this pen is actually now designated for these two ostriches. And the next month, we are scheduled to again receive uh, another batch of our ostriches, maybe around three or four, we do not know. But I hope that we can raise maybe 10 breeders of this ostrich. I really would like to try this one. Now let me tell you an update about our parakeets. Well, I know that our parakeets have laid their eggs in each of these boxes. I think around 10 nest boxes that are already filled with eggs. And uh, I'm so proud because the means that we have employed, such as the supplements that I'm going to share with you now, is really very effective. So come on, let's go to the pen of our parakeets. I'm very happy to tell you guys that last week we were able to add some 14 pairs of our parakeets. And I'm so happy about this because the parakeets nowadays in our place here in Zamboanga City are very scarce. You cannot just easily find some breeders of these parakeets. I don't know the reason why, but I am so glad that we were able to find some and there were 14 pairs that we have added. And if you will observe inside, these parakeets are already very busy laying their eggs, cleaning the nest boxes. These are the activities that you can see inside. And let me tell you that in breeding these parakeets, there are actually natural food. Actually, these are grasses that can be given to the breeders in order to stimulate their appetite to breed. And I would like to reveal to you guys that this plant called olasiman or maybe some others called kulasiman are really very effective to become supplements in the feeding of our parakeets because they will promote the appetite really to breed and this is what I have observed I've been giving them this kind of plants for the past uh, 10 days now and it proves to me that they really have the appetite to breed this thing that I'm sharing with you now are already proven and in fact we can see many eggs right there inside in the nesting boxes if you wanted to breed massively our birds like this one we will also be concerned about their health and one of the things that will hamper our success that will cause the failure in breeding of these parakeets are the external and internal parasites well, let me share with you that we have to regularly deworm our parakeets in order for us to prevent them from being attacked with these parasites. Well, if they are not dewormed, they will become sickly. And you will be surprised that one day they will die because of these uh, parasites inside in the intestines. And this can be true to the chickens. For chickens, we also have to do some regular deworming for our chickens in order for them to become healthy all the time. Maybe you are interested to know about how do we deworm our parakeets, our breeders. We can use the chicken dewormer available in the market, but I did not use that. I used the natural way, and this is the pepper. You know, I'm holding this pepper, and these are just very available in the market. And you will see that there are some 1 4 kilo of pepper that I am holding right now. And this is going to be given to the parakeets as our dewormers. This will not only kill the parasites inside the intestines of our birds, but they are also aphrodisiac. So this is my second time giving them with this kind of, you know, pepper. This will also serve as the aphrodisiac. This will give them the appetite really to breathe. Hi hey guys, this is your dewormer. You will eat this, of course, 
you will enjoy eating the seeds of this so guys we will put this container over here and you will see that they will gladly eat this one as what I have said they love to eat this very hot pepper and don't you know that these creatures are really very lovely they're really very cute to observe here inside they fly they have their innocent lives they're carefree and last time we made an effort of you know adding some perches like this one they love to swing and they love to use this one of course you can see that they are stress-free actually and they really love to play you will also note that we have added some 50 perches uh, that are here you will see also that almost uh, all of these nest boxes are already filled with eggs well we will not distort them because i know that this stage which is laying of the eggs are really very crucial we will not disturb them more often so that they will not become angry because uh, if they are really very disturbed then there are chances that they will throw their eggs outside of the nest boxes so you will observe that they are now eating with the peppers And guys, we were able also to add some nest boxes right here. And you will see that we added some 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 nest boxes. And also, the bamboos that we have provided for them have already eggs. Some of the pairs are utilizing the bamboo as their nest. And, and uh, I can assume that uh, these bamboos have already eggs also. They are really very quick to multiply and I would say that this is also one of the lucrative businesses that you can also engage. I've been thinking for days Yeah, I've been thinking for years That I tell myself I stop the things that keep me from you, dear But I keep on losing it we rescued this raven from the poachers we are actually nursing him i don't know if this is a male or a female we still don't have name for this raven and uh, we just uh, rescue them because uh, this was uh, illegally caught by some of the poachers and maybe soon we can release this to the wild this is a very young raven is a he or she i don't know and maybe you can also suggest what is the name of this raven and like uh, zimba this raven will be released and of course we have free time to roam around and and uh, go back if she would like to go back so this is it the raven is doing well he's eating now with this dog food and this fresh egg of the chicken open mouth yes open okay very good very good oh. ah. And guys, let me tell you something also about our turkey. Well, our turkey have multiplied again and we have here some poults and these poults now are about to be wind. And let me remind you that in this turkey racing, one of the things that are really disturbing to our poults is the fall packs. And we can avert actually the contamination of this uh, fall packs by putting the poults, the newly hatched poults, in a cage where the mosquitoes cannot get inside and uh, if you will not do these things 
you can have another option. You can put the chicks together with the hen, their mother, and allow the mother to sit on them during nighttime or cover them during nighttime. This is also one of the methods that can avert the uh, fowl pox disease. And uh, this is very important. Otherwise, we will not succeed in uh, turkey farming. Actually, we already have disposed many of these turkeys. And in fact, we also have disposed meats of our chickens. So these are the things that we are doing in the farm. We're gaining an income, actually. At the same time, I am enjoying with this kind of life, this kind of work. And our bantam chickens also have multiplied. Actually, we have just weaned some dozens of these newly hatched bantams. And our goats are doing well. And in the next video, we're going to report to you about our rabbitry. Next week, we are scheduled to harvest around 40 rabbits, the newly weaned rabbits from the farm. And we're going to show this one, and that's going to be the content of our next video. So these are all the things that we can share with you today. And I hope you will continue to like and share our videos. And if you are new to this channel, may I humbly ask you to please subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you will be notified of our future uploads. We're uploading videos every three to five days, only here at Dexter's World!